Hello everybody, this is Phil Tyrone, live here from Maker Faire. In our ongoing coverage of what's been happening at Maker Faire, we of course have robots. Robots, robots, robots. Here we have the robot giraffe. So let's take a look at all the different robots in addition to the robot giraffe we had at Maker Faire. How did you build it? I didn't actually build it. Uh, uh, the guy over here did, my maker. I can't find it. What do you need? What are you looking for? What do you need? Oh, they're just asking how you built it. Oh. And I said my maker would know better than I would. Originally, it was mostly stuff that was found in the uh, dumpsters and garbage cans. So, like, I had old, old TV sets and a broken wheelchair. And over the years, I kept replacing parts with newer and different things. And eventually, it became all this computer technology to run it. So, it's running over the internet now. He could be anywhere in the world while he's controlling it. Right now, he's he's back there somewhere, but he could be anywhere. That's amazing. So my name is Chris James and I'm with the R2 Builders Club. It's an international organization or a, a loosely, or loose organization um, covering the whole world, about 6,000 members. Um, this is my R2 um, that I've been working on for about two years now. Um, he's aluminum, pretty much aluminum head to foot, um, machine parts, things like using lathes and mills to make him. Um, the dome is actually a spun aluminum dome. It's actually laser cut, so we have like panels that get cut out, and I uh, see so he does sounds, and of course he drives around and does a whole bunch of other things. And there's R2D2. This make video is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos, and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. Combat's Cup here, and uh, it's a robot combat competition. People make. Uh, combat robots. They have different weight classes. This is a uh, heavyweight sewer snake, 220 pounds. And uh, most of them are electric powered. We use various electric motors, really powerful stuff, really hard metals, uh, tool steels, titanium, a lot of aluminum. And uh, just build these machines and compete. It's a three minute uh, fight to the death, almost.
think it makes sense to spend all this time and money building something you're just going to destroy, but that's part of the fun, that's part of the pressure. you got to build it strong so you don't get destroyed. You get to fight again. Yeah.